Alright guys, welcome back, and I know it has been a few weeks, but I've been busy working on my Android app for my site. So anyways, I'm kind of at a little breaking point right here, so I'm ready to hop back into JavaFX. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to properly close out of your application. Now, you guys are like, alright, I already know how to close out of it. Just hit this button in the top right, boom, roasted, program is closed. But here's the thing. Whenever you're making an actual application, most of the time you want to run a little chunk of code right before the user closes out. For example, if you're making a game, you might want to save like their position or their level wherever they're playing. Uh, maybe if you're making like a chat program, you might want to save their history log. Essentially, you want to do something, run a bit of code most of the time. So, let me adjust myself. I should always adjust myself before I start these tutorials, but oh well. Alright, so you got this idea that maybe I'll show you guys what we have so far so my starting point for this tutorial is just a button and when you click it nothing happens so we'll say that okay how about if we have the user click a button and then we can hop down to uh, you know some method that we build saves a chunk of code then closes out alright we can do that so button set on action use those cool lambdas and we'll make a method called like a, I don't know, close program. So now we actually have to build it. So private void close program. And we'll just say uh, like something like this. So system out print line. We won't actually save a file because it would just be a waste of time, but we'll have some pseudocode like save, or I will say file is saved all lies there was no file saved <laughs> suckers alright so after we write our code to save a file or do do whatever we want to do inside this method we can just call window close and this will close the window for the user so run and check it out alright they're doing their thing playing their game they decide to close out so they hit this button close program and check it out the file was saved, this bit of code ran, and the window closed perfect. But here's the problem that we have already. Let me expand this. So say that the user is using this program and they decide to hit this button right up here. Well then they just bypassed our entire method and all of that work was for nothing. So what we decided to do is this. What we can do is we can actually, on this window, we can call a method called set on close request. Now this method gets called whenever the user requests to close the window. In other words, whenever they hit this button, then this method is going to be called. And what we can do here is essentially the same thing where whenever they request to close the window, we say, okay, well, whenever you want to do that just hop down here and we can save a file that way so run this of course we already know that closing it through the button works fine and now also closing it with this little close button works fine as well so boom good to go tutorial done not quite there is one more thing that I need to teach you guys and that's this see whenever the user kicks off this set on close request it sets off an event to close the window as you can expect. So what that means is say that we wanted to have a little dialogue instead of saving a file that was like, are you sure you want to exit out of the program? You know, like um, most websites or a lot of websites do this whenever you're filling out a form or some you know software programs before you save a file. They have a little alert box back. Like, are you sure you meant to close? And if the user chooses no, then you know they can go back to doing whatever they're doing so here is the thing let me close out of here and I'll show you guys something cool so let's go ahead and implement that by making a boolean variable and we'll just say that I don't know store it in answer now using our nice little confirm box remember we had a method called display and this pops up a new window and we'll just give it some stupid title and inside here we'll say sure you want to um, like exit or something like that so eventually what's gonna happen is if they click yes 
then this is going to be equal to true. If they click no, then this is going to be equal to false. So we can test this variable and we'll say if answer, which pretty much means if I type that right. So now we're saying if they clicked true, then what we want to do is we want to hit window close. All right, this seems to be working good. Logic looks pretty solid. So check this out. So we're going to close the program right here. Sure, you want to exit. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to close it. Sure, you want to exit. Yes. Program closed. Now check this out. I'm going to do it again, but watch what happens whenever I click this. I'm going to click this close button in the top right. Are you sure you want to exit? No, I'm not accidentally clicked it. Program closes anyways. What the heck is going on? Why did it work so well with the button? but not the window because this method is being called both ways. Well here is the thing in the one last part I want to teach you guys. Whenever you call set on close request, remember this is pretty much you telling your system I want to close this program. So what's going to happen is it's going to say okay first run this bit of code. So it's going to run this bit of code which gives you an alert box. Now no matter what answer you choose once this is done, remember, it still knows that you requested to close out of the program. So it's going to say, okay, you chose an answer, don't really care. The request is still happening. You still wanted to close. So I'm closing either way. So it isn't the case with the button because we didn't request the close only with the window. Sounds kind of weird, but this is how you solve this. It's very easy. So instead of just letting that close request go on its way and complete the entire thing what we need to do is this inside we can just throw it in our lambda right here and let me put two alright so again we're still gonna call close program but before we hop down to this method what we want to do is we want to take that event which is the close event and we want to consume it Now what this means is we're pretty much saying, okay, the user wanted to request the close, but we're going to consume that event. In other words, hey Java, we got it from here. So consuming it pretty much tells your system, hey, we're going to take care of it. And then when it hops down here, we can pretty much implement our logic properly. So we already know that the program works fine. Sure. You want to exit? Nope. And now, since we consumed that event, pretty much the close event stopped and we're handling it manually through our method. So, sure you want to exit? No. Let's click it again. Sure you want to exit? Yes. So there you go. That is how you properly close out of an application and all the little weird things. Hopefully you guys understand now and how you can run a chunk of code brilliantly in your application. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.